Hey y'all! So we here at Empire Walk about to get us some Chinese food. Say hey! Say what you ready to get? You ready to get some Chinese food? Chinese food. Chinese food. What you talking about? <laughs> All right. Say hi to the camera. Say hey, camera. Hey, camera. <laughs> All right. Hey, y'all. So it's your girl, MB Beauty. I got home. I'm comfortable now in my robe. Like. I just had to get in my robe. That's what I do when I get home. He in his pajamas and now we finna eat. So I know the first thing that people do um, when they do their little mukbang, cause I think this is like gonna be like a mukbang slash get to know me video so that y'all can, you know, know a couple of things about me. I got about 20, 23 questions that I'ma answer, all really simple and quick. Um, so, first things first, I went to Empire Walk. I took y'all along with me in my vlog. And when I went there, I got the sushi, of course, because I really am excited to see how he's gonna react to <laughs> eating some sushi. So we gonna see about that, y'all. Anyway, so, ooh, ooh, oh no. <laughs> it spilled a little bit, but, ooh, look at that. I got some salmon and I got me a bunch of California rolls. And yes, since it was a buffet, I went and I I was being greedy because I want to take some of this to work tomorrow. So judge your mama. <laughs> and while you're at it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you can see more videos of me and my baby. Say hey. He's hungry too. I'm ready to throw down as well while I answer these questions. The next plate that we have, <laughs> the next plate that we have was the first plate I made. And it's, I got Chinese donuts in here. I got a bunch of crab cheese, as you can see, some rice under there, and then some fried shrimp, and some sweet and sour chicken. And then we just got um, some little juicy juice, and our little um, themed uh, glass mugs, cause you know, it's Vlogmas, and you know, I'm in the spirit now, I'm ready to like decorate my house and everything, so. Ooh, I was thirsty, y'all. All right, so you ready to try the sushi? Huh? You ready? All right, come on. Didn't you say you wanted some sushi? <laughs> now he don't wanna try it. Okay, if I put it in the sauce, does he like stuff with sauce? Okay, try your sauce. Okay, try it, Bubba. I'm away. I'm away because his mouth is full. I just wanted to get this part over with. And I, he played too much because we've been prepping and talking about this all day, y'all. We've been prepping and talking about this sushi since we got out the car. Like, but I'm going to wait for him to stop chewing real quick. <laughs> I got my book um, for the question and answer. And nice little cute book I got from Walmart so I'm just gonna be reading off the questions like as I um, as I eat my food so the first question y'all let me prop it up away from me the first question is what is your real name so <laughs> like most people uh, that's watching this video, I know y'all already know my name, but yes, my name is Madison, but I go by MV Beauty TV, cause period. And the next, let me start eating y'all, cause I don't lie, I'm hungry. I'm so hungry, y'all. Okay, next question is, how old are you? So I'm currently 26 years old, ooh, ooh, ooh. About to be 27. Aquarius gang. <laughs> um, mm, mm, mm. You know how food be so good and you just gotta close your eyes while you eat it? That's what I had to do for a second. Hold on. Baby. All right, you gonna try the sushi? Okay, try the sushi. Say, ah. <laughs> you please try the sushi. <laughs> oh my god, I'm 
been talking about him trying this sushi all week and he not gonna, okay. <laughs> all right, the next question is, where are you from? I am from Michigan, Flint, Michigan. And then it says, where were you born? I was born at Hurley Hospital in Flint, Michigan. And um, it says, how many kids do you have? One and done, baby. He right here. Right here. One and done. And he's currently four years old, and his name is Mustafa. But I call him Scooter, so y'all hear me in the vlogs call him Scooter. That's his nickname that we gave him when he was little. Because he used to scoot his little butt up um, on the floor when he was in his diaper. And so then that's how we came up with the name Scooter. And then next question is, who is your favorite actress? Baby. Lately, my favorite actress, I'ma say, I got two of them. So, um, my favorite one is Eva Marcel. And when I say I love that lady, especially off of All the Queen's Men, if y'all haven't checked that out, she played the hell out of her role. I really love her. I've always been a fan of her. And then my newest favorite actress is off of Sisters. Her name is Crystal Renee, also known as Fatima. So, you want some salmon? Okay. So, those are my favorite actresses right now. Um, I, it used to be Gabrielle Union. But um, that has changed lately, so. Um, oh, you want the crab cheese? Okay, so it says, what made you want to start a YouTube channel? Okay, so I've always been into doing makeup, but I never wanted to really do other people's faces. I've always wanted to, um, have like that um where i brand ambassador for other companies like that's kind of like my dream in a sense like i really love like teaching um because i've taught myself how to do a lot of things so i i just like that i can build this platform to inspire other women girls all across the world of um you know when i really get like that audience that i want i also love creating i'm very creative i love doing makeup i love just creating memories i thought this would be a good way to just kind of create memories with my child um also just basically inspire and teach and be like this is just pretty much my outlet um to do things on that i want to do without anybody telling me how to do it. I can just be my all raw, authentic self. I just wanted to be somebody that everybody can relate to. I'm not rich. I don't live a lavish life, but I will. I'm speaking that into existence. I'm just a regular, everyday, nine to five mom that works and provides for me and my child. I'm single and I'm just, I'm just, in, just trying to make it and I just want, um, to invite women and just people from all different walks of life to come to my channel and say, hey, like I can really relate to her. I love her. I, I really like aspire to do things like her one day or, you know, maybe just make somebody's day when they're down because I've had days where I've looked at other YouTubers and I'm like, wow, like they really inspired me to just get out of that funk or get out, you know, just do what I have to do so I know that was like a long answer but yeah that's really why like I genuinely love to create and I really like editing too even though it takes so long it, I do enjoy it I enjoy re-watching stuff that I create and I'm only gonna get better so just stay tuned y'all that camera coming and everything else the quality is gonna be much much more better this is the best that I could get right now. So I know y'all can kind of see like our shadow and stuff, but yeah. So, uh, what's your favorite movies? Man, okay. 
So I got a lot of them, but I picked out like my top three. So my favorite movie is The Notebook. I really love that movie. You done eating? Okay. Um, I said The Notebook, Friday After Next, and Bringing Down the House with Queen Latifah Life. Those are like one of my top favorite movies. I have a lot more, but I just don't want to make this video too long. Um, what is your favorite TV show right now? So I have two favorite TV shows. Um, the first one is Sisters, and a little backstory on that is I really like did not think that I was gonna like Sisters because it did kind of start off a little bit boring. And to me in my opinion but as soon as I seen a preview with Eva Marcel in it and she was like what can I do for you I said wait a minute let me go run that ish back and let me catch up so I've been binge watching ever since and when I tell you I love 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 that show and then my other one that I said um, since I got two of them is all the Queen's Men with Eva Marcel starring her. Mm. So, if y'all haven't seen that, go watch that. It's a vibe. And it's a lot of fine men up in there, ladies. And it's it shows everything. It's pretty graphic, so if y'all got kids, y'all might want to Y'all might want to even watch it on your phone or tell them to go to their room because it's very mature, but it is really good. And I'm not going to tell any details. Just go watch it. It's two seasons out right now, and I can't wait for the third one. And the next question is, what's the most embarrassing moment that you had in school? So I had two embarrassing moments. I don't know why I got two of everything, or three of everything. But the most, and one of the most embarrassing moments in school that I had was when I was in high school, I would say like 10th, 11th grade. And it was the end of the day. And that day I was real cute, just sashaying through the hallway, got my hand held high, got my purse in my hand. And I'm just walking. I got my baby dolls on. I, I was known for wearing baby dolls. I stayed with every color baby dolls. Like, that was the thing. Like, and I had my big old hoops on. My hair was bone straight. I used to wear my own hair all the time. And I'm just walking, walking down the hallway, just strut. And by then, at Northwestern, we had, like, we was combined with School of Choice kids, which were older than us. And they were getting a, you know, GED or whatever in school. Or I think that's what it was about. I don't know. Um, <laughs> he probably getting bored with me and my so questions. Fun. But, <laughs> but I winded up slipping in this puddle of water. And boom, like when I say my hands went up in the air, my foot went up in the air everything and then i landed on my butt so hard in front of all them school of choice dudes they was older than me and some of them was fine too and i was so so embarrassed like when i say and they was cracking up too now my friends was like shortly behind me so they helped me get up they was like oh my god like are you good girl like help me get my purse back in my hand but they was cracking up when i say they was cracking up so hard that they fell on the floor. Cause when I say it happened so fast, cause the way you just should have seen me y'all, I was just going, just going. <laughs> so, ooh man, like I had to like keep my composure. Like I didn't want to cry. I didn't want to show no emotion. I just wanted to get the heck up out of there. Like I just wanted to get out and just get out that door and get away from them dudes. And I was like, oh my God, I cannot believe that it happened. Like, why wasn't I watching where I was going? And it was in the winter time too, so it was just like little puddles from everybody coming in and out from outside and stuff. So it was just a mess, y'all, and embarrassing. The second thing was, was when I was in Spanish class and I hated Spanish because I couldn't really, I wasn't that good at it. I got the basics, 
But when it started getting harder, I checked out. And we had to take a test that day. And I had wrote down all the answers on this little bitty piece of paper. <laughs> and I thought I was slicker than a snake. But I wasn't. The Spanish teacher was telling us like, it, I was literally almost done. She was like, wrap it up guys. Like, you know. And I guess I was taking so like taking long. Everybody else kind of finished up real fast. And I'm sitting up here trying to, trying to get the answers, like trying to see. Baby, she caught me cheating. She was so pissed. She got up. And she do wrong. Hmm? I want cheese. Mm. He be calling this cheese, y'all. I mean, it is she trash cheese. cheese. <laughs> okay. She got up so fast and she was so pissed. And she took my paper and she took my little sheet that I have. And she did it in front of everybody. And she was like, I don't like cheaters. And she, I mean, she just, and it was like, everybody was just looking at me like, and I was looking like, and I was so mad because I already was having a bad day that day. So I was in, and then not only that, I made it so bad because I sat in the back of the classroom. So that was stupid too. Because I was like, okay, I don't want to be seen, but I want to pass this test, but I don't know none of the answers. Baby, I got disqualified anyway. And everybody was just looking and whispering and I was embarrassed. Like that was very embarrassing because she made sure she was just like she said some other stuff, but it was that was a long, long time ago. So I vaguely remember, but I know I can feel that embarrassment again. Like, dang, like everybody gonna be thinking I'm dumb and you know. So those are my embarrassing moments in high school. Other than that, high school was a breeze. Like it was, I had a great time for the most part. Um, what do you miss about being younger? Baby, not paying no bills, okay? That's what I miss. I miss not paying a bill. I miss waking up rent free, consumers free, Wi-Fi free, <laughs> gas free, having to buy food free, everything that was free at my parents' house, like baby, them bills, bills, Bills. I miss not paying no bills. I cannot stress that enough. Like I, could, I would give anything to not have to pay bills. Like it'd be a mess. Like sometimes I'm like, dang, didn't I just pay that bill? And I blink my eyes and I gotta pay that bill again. Like ooh, it'd be getting on my nerves. But I ain't gonna lie. Like I do, I do love being on my own. Like it, it's, I love being on my own and independent. So and I'm just blessed that I can still pay my bills. So, but if I could be younger, hey. <laughs> um, this is kind of fun though, y'all. I'm enjoying this. Do you like this? You having fun? Yeah. yeah. Or do you just like seeing yourself? <laughs> Aw, you so cute. You so cute. Aw. Oh, this is so cute. This is such a cute thumbnail. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, okay. Who can you tell everything to? I can tell everything to my parents and my best friend. Her name is Zakia and she can braid hair. She specializes in braiding, but she can do sewing. She can do quick weaves. She's in school right now and she's gonna get that cosmetology license and ain't nobody gonna be able to touch her. Okay, she is the bomb. Like, she no. she got talent with them hands, okay? So, Zakiya, I love you, girl. So, if you're watching this, hey, boo. And shout out to you. So, if y'all wanna go get your hair done, her name is Zakiya Hopkins on Facebook. And thank me later. All right? <laughs> All right, uh, what's your favorite color? Well, 
obviously yeah. not. But I love me some black and I also love pink. Like anything that I own, that I carry around my purse, anything, I love me some pink, y'all. It all shades of, excuse me, all shades of pink. My phone gonna be getting cold while I'm sitting up here talking. I thought that I, I, I thought I was gonna be good at this mukbang stuff, but um, okay. What's your dream job and your dream car? Okay, my dream job and my dream car is to be one of the biggest beauty influencers and also owning a multi-million dollar um makeup or like beauty business because that's what i'm kind of working towards um because i used to sell lashes and i'm going to currently like get back into that bag but i want it to be like a huge like an overall makeup brand like i want to add on to additional things but i also just i really 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 want to be like one of the biggest influencers in the future like like doing stuff going places traveling um being like a brand ambassador for all these different companies wigs makeup skincare just just give it all like throw it at me like i can do it like i really really like could see myself doing that for the rest of my life because i do it every day when i get up i'm lashes hair i don't do makeup because i work on the line so i ain't trying to sweat it off but every once in a while i get back into that talent of beating my face for the one time and I really, really want to be able to do that for a living and basically just be with my baby every day and, you know, just be able to wake up and just be like, okay, I'm going to do this video today and I'm out. I got to do this for that. Like, I just, I don't know. I just dream of like being all being dialed up all the time and going to events like that. I never thought of that being my dream job, but that's where my heart is, is the beauty world and health and fashion. So. Yeah, I know my my answers are so like deep. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, and my dream car. So I know it might sound cliche because everybody got one, but my dream car is a G wagon, the newest year G wagon, and I wanted to if I when I purchase it, I want to get it pink. A Barbie pink and I wanted to have Barbie interior with black and rhinestones I wanted to just be death out like that's gonna be my diva car you gotta sit down it's the dumbest thing you ever done it's the dumbest thing you ever done <laughs> put my trust in these ninjas that's it Put my trust in these ninjas. That's the dumbest thing I ever done. Put my trust in these ain't ish ass A S S ninjas. Cause my baby right here. But y'all girl, y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. Never again. <laughs> For real. I can't think of nothing else. <laughs> okay. Uh What's your favorite drink? So I'm guessing they talking about alcohol. So my favorite drink is Sweet Tart. It's called Sweet Tart and I think most bars make them, but the one that I went to was called Opa's on Davidson Road in Flint, Michigan. Can you sit down? It, he's getting restless, so I gotta hurry up. Stop it, stop it, baby. Please stop it. Don't be acting up on this camera in front of all these folks. I'm trying to I'm trying to uh make you seem civilized for the most part. <laughs> He's silly, y'all. He's worse than me. You wanna get down? He has to excuse himself. <laughs> he mad too, y'all, and I don't care. And then what's your favorite food? I really love like love me some soul food, y'all. Like that's one of my favorite no. Sit down. That's one of my favorite dishes. Okay. Then try it. Try the sushi. 
but I love um, soul food. Sorry, y'all. But I love me some soul food. The, this little thing, thing right here, this little wild child. Um, where did you go to school? I went to Northwestern High School. Um, my whole high school years. And um, what's, um, what's my favorite perfume? So I have a lot of high-end favorite perfumes, but I'm not gonna list those off because recently I just came across one of the most affordable but best smelling perfumes on this earth. If you love fruity, floral scents, sweet scents, oh my God, and you, go, and you wanna turn somebody's head and they be, what is that? What's the smell? You smell so good. I don't even want to really tell y'all, but I got to put my girls on. I got to put my gang on, my A1, A1 day ones on, okay? If you want to smell good for your men, you want to just smell good in general, you want to turn these heads of people, you want to, dang, she smell good. It's called Sugar Fleur from Victoria's Secret. Boom. I bet y'all wasn't ready for that. <laughs> y'all wasn't ready for that. It's called Sugar Fleur, F-L-E-U-R. And it's by uh, Victoria's Secret and it's in their collection, their Tease collection, the Tease perfume collection. And it's in this real pretty pink bottle. Oh my God. Y'all gotta go and smell it for yourself. I wish I had my bottle right here, but I don't feel like getting up to go get it. I just wanna just let y'all know. <laughs> That that is one of the best smell. Like when I say that's that's all y'all gonna be smelling me in if I ain't wearing my sweet pea, cause that's like my everyday smell is sweet pea. Cause that just that's a scent that just sticks to me very well. And even when I'm sweating or not sweating, like it's just a good scent. Um but yeah, so sugar fleur. I think that's how you pronounce it, a flow, fleur. I don't know. it just just now you're gonna be smelling like sugar and everything sweet all of the above and it is and it ain't no cotton candy sweet smell it's literally like it's unexplainable but it's like it smells so good i just i can't stress that enough and current favorite song my current favorite song right now is out loud thinking by glorilla shout out to glorilla because i love me some glorilla and she's not everybody's cup of tea but she's mine and I just really love that song, it's, it's deep. And she really be spitting some real words. Like, I just really, that was one of my favorite songs of her new album that she just dropped called Anyway Life's Great. So if y'all haven't heard of her or um, knew that she dropped the album, she did. And Out Loud Thinking is one of my favorite ones. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> he is so, okay, okay. I'm getting beat up, I need help. <laughs> Okay, do you have any siblings? Yes, I do. I am the baby. I'm the baby girl. <laughs> but I have four siblings all together. I have two brothers. One passed away in 2016. Shout out to Junebug. And may you continue to rest in peace. And I love you. And and then my, um, my sisters. Um, and I have two sisters. So two brothers and two sisters. And... Their names, um, all my siblings' names, Vincent, Rodney, Sierra, and Stephanie. But I I call her by a nickname, but I'm sure she's not gonna want me to say it. She don't like me saying it in public. So I ain't even, this is what I go through, y'all. <laughs> this is what I be going through. And what did you wanna be when you were a kid? Kid, I wanted to be like my mom. And she was a nurse. And so I tried to follow in her footsteps, but I did not, I didn't like it. So now I'm just at a different occupation where that phase it is. So, but last question is, what do you value the most? First and foremost, God. God himself, I value God, I value family, 
I value loyalty, I value honesty, and respect. Those are my top values, like, none dollars, like. So, I did not get to have y'all witness my baby eating sushi, even though he was so ready to eat sushi. Do you want us to try some sushi? You wanna try some sushi? Yeah! You wanna try some sushi? Come on, let's just try some sushi. Okay. <laughs> I tried, like, this is like, really what I've been like, waiting on to see if he wants to try it, but I ain't gonna make my baby eat nothing he don't wanna eat, so. You ain't got to tell me twice. Mm -hmm. That pretty much covers, you know, uh, things about me that I could get done in the amount of time dealing with a four-year-old. So, I hope you guys enjoy watching me and my baby um, do our little mukbang slash uh, get to know me tag. Um, I really appreciate everybody who is watching me so far who subscribed if you're new here don't forget to stop by and click that subscribe button and also comment and like okay so if you guys want to see more videos like this of us eating answering questions or you know just in general just if you guys have some more questions for me that you would like me to um, add on in the next get to know me tag then just let me know and comment below okay so, all right, you wanna say, what do you wanna say? Say bye-bye, YouTube. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.